Apollo 14, the mission that took golf to the moon in 1971. But the lunar module nearly didn't make it onto the green. After the successful failure of Apollo 13, there was a lot of pressure on Apollo 14 to put the program back on track. Apollo 11 and 12 proved they could reach the moon. Apollo 14 was about conducting science on its surface. The mission fell to the first American in space, Alan Shepard, who had suffered an ear disorder preventing him from taking part in any other missions. But after surgery, he was fit to fly and ready to command Apollo 14. He was accompanied by Command Module Pilot Stuart Russo and Lunar Module Pilot Edgar Mitchell, and for both, it was their first time in space. And it wasn't the smoothest ride for them. First, it took six attempts for the Lunar Module to hard dock with the Command Module, and then there was a problem with the abort switch. An astronaut pushes the abort switch if anything goes wrong with the descent to the moon's surface. The switch tells the onboard computer to reverse the engines, blasting the module away from the moon, back into orbit. On the Apollo 14 flight, a loose particle in the button caused it to malfunction. At first, a tap on the panel with a pen seemed to solve the problem, but a real solution was needed. Back on Earth, computer programmer Don Isles had an hour to write a new program, to fool the computer into thinking it was already in abort mode, stopping it from initiating an abort sequence that could have sent Apollo 14 back home. Instructions were sent to the astronauts, punching in 26 sets of five-digit figures. It solved the problem and the lunar module touched down safely on the moon in the Fran Mora formation, originally the target of Apollo 13. Okay, we made it to Roger, Shepard and Mitchell put out experiments on the moon's surface and collected 94 pounds of moon rock. That's about the same as 280 bananas. Then at the end of the second moonwalk, Shepard hit two golf balls with the head of a nine iron attached to a sample collection tool. And with no air resistance and about one sixth of Earth's gravity, a golf ball could travel miles on the moon. Miles and miles and miles. Mitchell threw an improvised javelin out of the solar wind collector experiment. It landed just beyond the golf ball in what is now known as Javelin Crater. Instead of golf balls, Rusa, who remained in the command module, took with him 500 tree seeds as a nod to his previous history as a smoke jumper for the US Forest Service. A specially trained firefighter who parachuted to remote wildland fires and worked to stop them spreading. An impressive thing to have on an astronaut CV. Rusa and the seeds orbited the moon 34 times, and scientists wondered how microgravity would affect them. As they returned to Earth with the astronauts, the canister holding the seeds burst open, inside a vacuum chamber, but the seeds survived, and most of them were able to be planted. They were planted across the United States and further afield, and you won't be able to tell the difference, and some are still growing today. Which sport would you like to try on the moon?